Welcome to Smite, the online battleground between mythical gods. This is a basic tutorial for players that are brand new to Smite. It should be especially helpful if you're also new to MOBA type games. We'll cover more advanced topics in future tutorials. In Smite, the battle is between two teams of five players, and each player controls a different god from ancient mythology. Your team of five gods spawns in your temple. The enemy team spawns on the opposite side of the arena map. Your goal? Defeat a giant minotaur guarding the enemy temple. The first team to down the minotaur will be victorious. From the main menu, select Play Now, Normal Match, Solo. Wait for the invite and then click join on the pop-up. Once inside the match lobby, you'll see your team on the left, enemy team on the right. Choose your god before the timer expires. Let's go with Ra, the Egyptian sun god. Then lock in. Notice these two checkboxes, auto level skills and auto level items. With these checked, the game will automatically choose useful skills and items for your god as you play the match. As a new player, keep these options on. Once the match begins, Smite controls should feel familiar if you've played other action games or MMO battleground games. The camera view is third person, rather than the isometric above the map view. You move using WASD, you fire your basic attacks with the left mouse button. Importantly, every attack in Smite is a skill shot. There's no lock on targeting. For melee attacks, you must be close to your target and facing your target. And for ranged attacks, your shots are aimed projectiles and the enemy can dodge them. Positioning is very important. During the match, your god advances in level from 1 to a max level of 20 in about 30 minutes. With each level, you gain a skill point to upgrade an ability. Since you've chosen auto level and auto item, your god will automatically gain abilities as you level. Your abilities are mapped to the keys one through four. Here's Ra using his first ability, Celestial Beam. Press one to ready the ability and show a ground target, then position the target. Right click if you want to cancel. Otherwise, left click to cast the Celestial Beam ability and melt enemy minions. Your god has a health bar as well as a blue mana bar. You can restore health and mana back at your temple. If you don't want to run all the way back, you can hit B at any time to teleport back. However, it does take a few seconds, so get to a safe place before you recall. Now. Back to your goal of downing that enemy Minotaur. Let's take a look at the battleground. The map has three defined lanes, plus a jungle area between those lanes. Along each lane, you'll find a series of defenses between you and the Minotaur. Defenses include minions, towers, and phoenixes. Minions. These AI-controlled creeps spawn every 30 seconds, and they march down the lane toward the enemy temple. Friendly minions meet enemy minions in the middle of the lane and fight it out. Minions normally prioritize attacking other minions. Stay behind your minions and they help protect you from your enemies. When do enemy minions attack you? Number one, if there's no friendly minions nearby, the enemy minions will target you. And number two, if you damage an enemy god, any nearby enemy minions will target you. Stop damaging that enemy god and the enemy minions will retarget your minions. Early game, minions are strong compared to your god, so be cautious and stay behind your minions as you make progress. Towers. Each lane starts out with two friendly towers and two enemy towers. These towers are destructible, but they have strong defenses and do heavy damage. Towers are similar to minions in how they choose to attack the targets. One big exception is that once a tower begins firing at you, it doesn't stop. It keeps firing at you. 
doing more damage with each shot until you leave the radius or you're dead. Help your minions advance and they'll push forward and eventually try to destroy the first tower. You should only attack towers directly when your minions are close enough to absorb the shots fired from the tower. When the last nearby minion dies, the tower will target you. So be cautious and aware of your minions when attacking a tower. Also, you can't damage towers with your special abilities, only your basic attack. If you attack an enemy god while within range of the tower, that tower will instantly begin firing at you. Your friendly towers act the same way. So if you're having trouble defending in a lane, stay near your own tower for protection. The Phoenix. After destroying the two towers protecting a lane, you'll face this final lane protector. The Phoenix functions similarly to a tower, but take down an enemy Phoenix and you'll begin spawning much stronger flaming minions in that lane. Flaming minions have more defenses and do much more damage, so they help your team advance. But after a few minutes, that enemy Phoenix will resurrect itself, so it is a temporary advantage. Now inside the enemy temple, you'll face the ultimate goal, the enemy's Minotaur. The Minotaur battle is like a final boss fight. He's strong and he's mobile. Also, the Minotaur gains a buff for each defense still standing. So if you assault the Minotaur with enemy towers and phoenixes still up, he will be substantially stronger. But with team coordination, you can take him down. A couple of final points. Keep an eye on that minimap. Your allies are always visible on the minimap, and enemies are visible if they're near friendly minions, structures, or allies. If you don't see enemy players on the minimap, chances are they're coming to get you. Which brings me to dying. There are a bunch of reasons you want to avoid death. Number one, if an enemy player kills you, they get stronger because they're earning XP and gold. Number two, while you're dead, you're getting further behind because you're earning less XP and gold. Number three, while you're dead, your team is down a player, so the enemy can more easily push towers. And number four, your respawn time gets longer and longer as the match progresses. If you die late in the game, you're gonna be spectating for a long time. So, for those first few matches, try being a cautious and defensive team player. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the battleground.